uh, that work ethic that Reagan has and that awareness of what she needed to improve upon and, and what, yeah. what to impress it's, you by uh, that? Well, you know, it's one of those deals where, like I said, Reagan has, um, she's listened, <laughs> you know, and she's learned from last year. Uh, one of the downfalls of our game last year was our foot speed and our lateral movement defensively, um, and then her explosiveness offensively. And so what she's done is in the offseason, she's worked hard, but even in our preseason, she's went in and done extra work with our strength and conditioning to work on those specific skills. Uh, and it's really paying off. Okay. You know, it sounds like, you know, going into the season, the, the, the depth and versatility of the post would seem like a, a strong point of the team. I guess Kelsey has, in, Dirks has an injury, but uh, yep. you still feel like with Reagan and with, uh, you know, uh, Joye and, and you got a lot of options there still. So. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, one of the nice things, and like you hit on it, it's the our depth. So we can go two bigs, meaning we can go uh, uh, Reagan and Rachel. We can go uh, Kelsey and Reagan or Kelsey and Reagan, uh, Rachel. Uh, or we can go more two stretch fours. Joy A and Chelsea can play together. Uh, so we have a lot of different options and combinations depending on the lineup we want to do uh, and or how the other team is playing us. Okay. You know, and Ch Chelsea's got the three-point shot. Is that something Reagan has worked on as well? You think yes. she can stretch the floor yeah. as well as a four? Yep, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, there is not one player on our team in terms of our post position that we don't feel comfortable shooting the three. Uh, Rachel, uh, we've worked on her this summer as well. So you'll see her in a position where she'll get up a couple threes this year. Hmm. Uh, and again, that's okay with us because she's worked on it. She's put the time in. Okay, yeah, Reagan mentioned, yeah, the, a little bit more openness in the offense and, uh, you know, yeah, just kind of what's the game plan as far as that goes? You feel like you got a lot of a lot of players that can score the basketball? Yeah, we do, you know, and one of the things that we think we have is I think we have a lot of basketball players. Uh, and what I mean by that is, I mean, players with some IQ, meaning they know what a good shot is, they know what a bad shot is. Uh, so we're not afraid to make the extra pass. Uh, and in having those players, what we did is we opened our offense up to allow them to create more. Uh, and read off of each other, and I think it's going to be really exciting to watch them play that way. Okay, you know what, what, uh, what do you enjoy or expect to enjoy as the head coach for the block party? You know, is just getting to meet the community. I'm sure you've had some uh, meetings with the booster clubs and that sort of thing. But just, yeah. what does this event mean for for well, you? Uh, for me personally, it, it's kind of um, my first opportunity. You know what I mean to showcase my new staff uh, along with our team. Uh, and then just some changes that we're making, you know, and one of the things that we're going to do is uh, I will personally be sending out emails to our Booster Club members uh, every other week, and I'll be doing an addition for our season ticket holders that I'll do once a month. I'll do an email to them just to give them some insider trader information and an opportunity to get me, to know me, the team, and just our whole family of women's basketball. Okay.